Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how we can start and stop the SAP S4 HANA 2022 server. This is the SAP S4 HANA 2022 virtual machine. It is installed on VMA workstation. Now, first we are going to start the virtual machine. So, click on this option, power on this virtual machine. It will boot up the SAP S4 HANA 2022 virtual machine. It is booting up, it will take some time. Choose this option not listed. Enter the username as root. Give the password. Go to the left hand top and click on activities. In the search option here enter terminal. And choose this icon. Choose this terminal icon. It will open the terminal window, the command window. First give this command S U space dash space H D B A D N. Now give the command H D B start. HDB in capital letters space start in small letters enter it will take some time and we have to wait till this prompt come back again it will take some time and we have to wait until this prompt come back again you can see the hardware configuration of my computer the processor is AMD Ryzen 9 5900X this is a 2 core processor. Memory is 96GB. If you want to use SAP S4 HANA for your educational practice purpose, training purpose, it is recommended 128GB. 128GB RAM is recommended. 96GB RAM also it will work but recommended RAM is 128GB. And my SAP S4 HANA 2022 virtual machine is, is installed on this Samsung SSD, SSD 970 EVO plus basically this is a Samsung 970 EVO NVMe this is the storage on which the virtual machine is installed so this is my computer hardware configuration we have to wait until this prompt come back again We can see we got the prompt back. Here, give the command exit. Then give this command. After you give the exit command, give this command. Su space dash space w a i a d n. Give this command. Or in a small letters, enter. After you get this prompt, give this command. Give this command. If it is small, you have to give it in small letters. If it is capital, you have to give it in capital letters. Here you can see in the start system, the start S is capital over here. Here also S is capital. So, the next operating system is case sensitive. You have to give the command according to that. If it is small letters, you need to give it in, give it in small letters. If it is in capital letters, you need to give it in capital letters. Enter. And here, give this command. Enter. Here you can see. Here G is capital and P is capital and A, A is capital over here. So give the command according to that. If it is in capital, you need to give it in capital letters. If it is in small letters, you need to give it in small letters. It is case sensitive. Enter. 
we have to wait until all these four processes turn green. Okay. At the beginning they are green. In, we have to wait until all those four processes turn green. Okay. It will take some time. We can see that now all the four processes have turned green. You can see all the all four of them have turned green now. Now we can connect this SAP server through the SAP GUI. So this is my SAP GUI. I have already configured my SAP GUI to connect to the SAP S4 HANA server. Okay. So give your username and password information. I am providing my username and password information. I have logged inside SAP S4 HANA 2022. You can see these are the installed software component versions. You can see them over here. These are the installed product versions. You can see this is SAP S4 Hundred 2022. You can contact me if you need this virtual machine. You can also contact me for SAP EC6. You can contact me if you want to set up your own SAP server. You can use it for practice purpose, educational purpose. For any type of SAP installation, if you want for your practice or educational purpose, you can contact me. If you want to set up your own SAP server also, so that you can remotely give access to others from anywhere in the world, you can contact me. Now I am going to show you how we can stop this SAP S4 2022 server. To stop the SAP S4 2022 server, now we have to give this command. In the prompt, give this command. You can see here, stop system, S is capital, both of the S are capital. So you have to give according to that. Enter. Give this command. Enter. And we have to wait until all these four processes here turn gear. Give this command again. Give this command again. And we have to wait until all these four processes turn gear again. Okay. We have to wait. Wait. You can see. They are turning gay. It will take some time. We have to wait for some time. You can see. We can see. Both. We can see all the processes have turned gay back again. Okay. Now give this exit command. Now give this command. SU space dash space HDB ADM enter now give this command is HDB stop HDB in capital letters Linux in the Linux operating system the commands are case sensitive so if I am giving the command in capital letters you also need to give the command in capital letters if it is in small letters you need to give it in small letters take note of it it will take some time we got the prompt back. Now here give the command exit. Again give the exit command. Now go to the right hand top. Click on this icon. Click on this icon. Choose the power off button. So this is the process. How we can start and stop the SAP S4 2022 server on virtual machine. If you want this server you can contact me for your educational and practice purpose if you want the ec6 server also then also you can contact me if you want to set up your own sap server to give remote access to users connected all around the world you can contact me thank you for watching the video